I hope you're having a great day and I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, I had a great weekend. If you remember about two weekends ago, we started something on Sunday where thousands of people across the world and myself included, we would stop eating after lunch and we would try to do an extended fast into Monday. Well, I don't know how many of you are still doing that, but I'm on it and I think I have an hour and 15 minutes more to finish my 24 hour fast. You know, the more you do these things, they sound overwhelming. I would always think, why should I fast for 24 hours? That's, that's like too long. But now this is the third or the fourth time I'm doing it and it's just getting easier and easier. What does that teach us? That the more that we practice something or the more that we're consistent with something, it just starts to get easier. Today's been a breeze. It's just been amazing moving on from one thing to, a, to another in the morning. I finished all of my patients, some work. I'm still powerful. I know I don't need to break it in 24 hours, but I am because I want to eat, because I want to work out. My body's craving some kind of physical movement. So I want to be smart about that, break my fast and do it. So I don't know how many of you are doing that fast and continuing that whole regime that we started. Enjoy yourself during the week, of course, sensibly. And Sunday, give your digestive system a break, whether it's 16 hours, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24, but start it and it gets easier and easier and then you have that discipline. So I know how my Mondays are planned. I'm not gonna travel out, I'm gonna be home or uh, meeting clients and stuff like that. So everything revolves around a particular discipline. But now I think it's become part of my life and no matter where I am in the world, it's gonna be something I continue. But I hope everyone's doing well. Today I wanna talk about uh, the power of carrots. Falcarinol. Falcarinol is a compound that is found in carrots. Very few of us know about this, but when you study cancer and you study deep cellular nutrition, you will know that this particular compound in carrot is being today extensively studied and derivatives of this compound are now being made into multivitamins and stuff like that for, for people who have cancer for people who are looking at the prevention of cancer. Eating a carrot alone is not gonna prevent your cancer because cancer is multifactorial, but it plays a huge role in everything that you do to help your body be stronger and possibly help you with the prevention of diseases or if you get it, to help you recover from it. So while you can find different multivitamins that contain all the beta carotenes that are found in you know uh, carrots and everything else, what about just eating the carrot? You know, we've confused ourselves with so much of complication. What about simplicity? What about having one carrot a day, or maybe two, or maybe three? Now you can eat that carrot raw, peel it really well, eat it raw, you can cut it. Some people find it difficult uh, to chew the carrot. So you can cut them into juliennes, into very fine strips. You can grate carrot and add it to your salad, or you can juice it. I usually like to eat it because chewing is a great process for your body. Every time we chew, we send signals to our digestive system to produce the right kind of enzyme. So that's good. But sometimes if I have raw carrots with lunch, I may have a raw carrot juice in the morning and mix it with some beet and some cucumber. But remember, if you're juicing the carrot, you want to keep the fiber. Okay, you wanna keep the fiber. Now that's a little bulky when you drink it, but that's where all the nutrition also is. And it's easy to strain it and have a glass of carrot juice. Or what you can do is if you don't like the fiber, if you don't like so much of bulk, maybe remove half of it and keep half of it. So it's slightly more, you know, easy for you to drink. But like I said, where there's a will, there's a way. You know, everything in our life doesn't have to be easy and comfortable all the time. So if, if you have to deal with drinking something which is a little bit bulky, do it for your own health. So carrots, the, one of the main compounds found in this, there are many compounds that we're gonna discuss today, but it has its link today to the prevention of breast cancers, the prevention of malignancies and tissues and the repair of tissues which are already malignant and also treating patients who already have breast cancers. And because it's good for one kind of cancer, it's good for all kinds of cancers. In fact, there's another compound called the polyacetylenes, which are found in carrots. And this plays a huge role in leukemia and blood cancers. When you're going through this particular cancer, it plays a huge role because of that compound. We also know carrots have beta carotenes. They have alpha carotenes and each of them have their roles. They contain something called lutein, which is why carrots are great for your eyes because lutein is a compound that is required for your eye health. So this simple vegetable that grows abundantly and comes in different colors. So sometimes you'll see a bright orange carrot and those are rich in beta carotene. Sometimes you'll see a dark orange or a dark red carrot. Those are rich in anthocyanins, which also play a huge role in controlling inflammation 
and boosting your immune system, keeping it well-trained and strong. Something as simple as carrots. Now, sometimes you may be a patient or you may have a child, but you can do pureed carrots. You can do a carrot mash. Of course, when you steam the carrot or you cook it, it's gonna lose a little bit of nutrition, but it does not make it useless. Most of the power will be in raw carrots, but sometimes certain patients who are going through very, very uh, complicated chemotherapies with complicated conditions, they gotta be careful of infection that can come through raw foods. So then you may lightly steam it or you may lightly cook it. You can do a carrot soup. And this is just the base. Like if I'm doing a carrot juice, carrot is the base, but I may add some beet, I may put some ginger, I may put a clove of garlic in. I like mixing parsley. Now you can get fresh parsley or you can get dried parsley. And I like mixing this with my orange juice because the combination of beta carotene and parsley is also excellent for your immune system and inflammation. So you see the basis carrots, now you can build on that and you can add what you want. I always add a drop or two of an extra virgin olive oil or a little bit of coconut oil to my juice because you see vitamin A is a fat soluble vitamin and carrots are rich in vitamin A, which means they require fat to be absorbed into your system. So you see, that's what synergistic nutrition is, knowing which food works synergistically with another, like turmeric works better with black pepper and a fat. So your fat soluble vitamins will require a fatty medium, which is why your doctor sometimes tells you take your multivitamin after a meal, because you need the fat from your meal to help you with absorption. And then you have water soluble vitamins like B vitamins, which can be taken anytime because they don't need fat to basically be absorbed. So I add a little bit of oil to that. Now, what else are carrots good for? Your skin, glowing skin, for your hair. They are excellent for protecting the liver, which is why we use a lot of carrot, but not too much. You know you're using, uh, too much of carrot can be toxic. So when people start to turn orange, you know you're overdoing it. So we have a lot of patients from different parts of the world and they come and they say, Luke, we're having like, you know, 10 kilos of carrot juice every day and stuff. And we're like, stop because that's gonna do you more harm. You know, you can go up to two to three maximum, like four mugs of carrot juice in a day, but again, you wanna make sure what your other sources of beta carotene are in from your diet. So usually two, one glass of carrot juice a day is great for everyone. Having a couple of raw carrots with your dinner and your lunch will add a little bit more. And if you're sick, it can be designed for you in a particular way, like liver cancer patients or people with liver cirrhosis can benefit from Carrots, because carrots are very protective for liver tissue, and it also helps you post a liver surgery. So like I said, there's a right time for everything. And just because carrot sounds good on paper, you gotta see what it mixes well with. So if you want it to really work synergistically at a cellular level in the body. So there are so many different ways of getting carrots in. In our country, we have a carrot halva. We have a carrot dessert, which is a disaster when you mix it with loads and loads of ghee and white sugar. Originally in our country, it was carrot, which was mixed with pure ghee, which is great, and jaggery, not white sugar. So you see, the dessert still remains a really tasty dessert, and it can be healthy in the right quantities if you make it the right way. But when you put hydrogenated fats, you know, pure ghee, which is, ghee, which is not pure, and you mix it with white sugar, it's a disaster. It's a carbohydrate bomb. So you want to do it the right way. Carrots also play a huge role in the lives of diabetic people because it can lower your blood sugar levels. Now, no, if you overdo it on carrots, it can also spike up your blood sugar levels. So keep it in moderation. So it also helps you with your blood sugar levels. So basically you see, when it comes to the gifts of nature, they got so many micronutrients in that help with so many other parts, you know, so many other organs and vital functions in the human body. All you gotta do is add it to your daily regime. And that ties in with the fact of us trying to encourage people to eat a rainbow. So when people say, look, what colors can I add? You can start off with carrot. Carrot's a great color to add to your rainbow plate for your parents, for yourself, for your kids. Have a great week, everyone. Try to get carrots into your diet. It's also great for your eyes, as you know. And put it in balance. You know, don't overdo anything. Just because something's good, it doesn't mean more is better. Okay, it never ever means that. If turmeric is great, you just don't go and keep on having turmeric throughout the day. It doesn't mean you're gonna get better. The body needs all these micronutrients in very, very small quantities. So never overdo anything, the good or the bad. Have a great week, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep, and remember, you care is all about you.